I'm your host, Peter Stefan. I'm here with fellow LOT360 host, OGT. November 6th, OGT will be taking over. OGT will be having a, a, a Saturday per month, and he'll be having... Well, tell the people what can we expect when you're, when you're here doing... Well, we can expect different topics on, 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 on different things. Um, we're going we're gonna to get into communities where, where kids want to rap and they want to become rappers and want notoriety people who want to open up business home businesses because it's still tough out there mm -hmm. to establish a business outdoors so a lot of businesses are coming from home and help these businesses to get off the ground you understand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and to to make everyone aware you understand to take advantage of all the education that you can get you understand to to better this world so sure. you understand education is very important and and look forward to you know helping everyone in the future now now it doesn't say now i felt you didn't finish talking about being a veteran etc can you continue on talking about that if you don't mind well like i was saying you understand yes, um we need to show more support for veterans out there mm -hmm. um not for anything uh, I don't want to put the blame on any specific organization or administration at that point mm -hmm. but those veterans like us too and those who are out there understand yes, where I'm coming from mm -hmm. we need a lot of help and we need support from everyone was that was that 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 premise you take there was that because experiences you had in the military like what yeah okay not only experience sure. I had in the military sure my my father served in the korean war thank you for his service and thank you for his during service. his service for this country um he contracted leukemia i'm sorry to hear that okay sorry and that. and as i did my research once i got into the military i started doing my research and it, it was contamination from the chemicals used in the korean war and um he died at a young age he was 38 years old and I noticed that all the veterans that were on that same ward, which mm -hmm. was in the veteran administration in, in the Bronx, sure. were all dying of the same thing. Mm -hmm. They all contracted leukemia, you understand? And mm -hmm. little did I know that joining the military and serving so many years later, mm -hmm. um, that I would also experience something like that, just like you know, veterans that we have till date mm -hmm. that are still suffering from agent orange mm -hmm. okay and are, are living a slow miserable death mm -hmm. really speaking mm -hmm. you understand and the fact that they're not supported a hundred percent you understand by our government or the veterans administration mm -hmm. these guys been fighting for 30 35 years and i know because i've been fighting also for my disabilities mm -hmm. okay and haven't gotten any these guys have experienced what they experienced have been exposed to these chemicals and only get 50 to 60 percent so they should be getting 110 percent so what you would you say every so veteran so what would you say so if you're a veteran out there the message right there is please reach out to the veteran administration please reach out to the power of attorney you to got your local veteran yeah local yeah local power of attorney other veterans and Please reach out to OGT, OGT at lifeonlifeterms.com, Peter Stefan at lifeonlifeterms.com. And I just want to tilt the conversation a little bit. OGT, and, and this is more of a plug, uh, uh, Life on Life Terms, uh, LOT 360, which is the, um, the break off of Life on Life Terms, this program we have right now. We run a monthly support group every first and third Tuesday. If you're out there, get a pen, write this down. OGT has been on it. I'm going to ask a couple of questions on it, but I just want to put this plug. It's important. If you're out there watching this right now, if you're going through anything, you're experiencing Ever since 2017, we've run a support group every first and third Tuesday of the month. That number is 302-202-1108. That's 302-202. 1108 and we'll be running you know like this is a work in progress we'll have lower thirds and information i just appreciate nor for the opportunity to be here and we have a support group at 9 p.m eastern standard time okay eastern standard time and that's every first and third tuesday ogt can you talk a little bit about just the calling and how that's been well i i every time i've called in it, it's, it's been a good experience because um we have different topics and, 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 and different issues, people sure. who have different issues, mm -hmm. you know, mental stress, anxiety, so forth and so on. And depending on the topic, 
you understand uh, I've noticed everyone has gotten into the topics. yes and and not only that we get into the topics but those can see that they have the support they're looking for sure when they call in sure you understand sure. once we acknowledge someone who who is is um, has um, come out with their problem or sure. the issues that they're, they're dealing with yes, sir. and we're able to support them you understand it changes the whole characteristic of of the conferences that we have and and, and more people get involved yeah and, and and let me be clear i didn't add so so it's 302 202 1108 and the code is 738556 and not only write it down call in call in look at that plug um so okay so 302 202 1108 <laughs> Type in the code 738-556. Give us a ring. What, it's, it's a call. It's a conference call. Totally, totally free. So what's, what was your take when you first entered the call and you first kind of just called in? What, what, I, I, I kind of just put an ear mm -hmm. and, and, and just acknowledge and listen to, to what others were saying and what they're experiencing and, and the issues that they're going through. Mm -hmm. You understand? And, and just being observing a, a ear for the meantime, mm -hmm. you understand? And, and then, you know, um, it was cool to able to show support. Mm. You understand? Do, Once do you, you understood their situation and what they were going through. And your travels in the community, you're a community man. Believe me when I say he's a community man, he's a community man. A man with respect, a man with integrity, bang, bang. a man with honor. That's 203rd in the Bronx. Um, you can go right off there on Grand Concourse 203rd. You could see it. It's, uh, tight community it's a too many community rich in culture do you find there's enough mental wellness services in the community in your opinion uh or no. from your experience not no. even opinion absolutely facts. not facts you know Pure facts absolutely not and, and why is that and, brother and it, it is what it is and different communities middle class or, or high class you understand mm -hmm. it, it's different support groups and more support groups out there okay <laughs> These people are, 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 you know, furnished with, you know, psychiatrists, psychologists. Mm -hmm. therapists, we really don't have those therapists like that here. Mm -hmm. You understand? In, in those communities. So us helping one another out is how we find it more effective. Yes. You and if you're a veteran, as a veteran, yeah, as a veteran, especially, what could you say to those veterans out there who, who, who may be having... Um, a disability that hasn't been detected how, how 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 can they get help or yeah what would you say to them if they can't find out i would say reach out to life on life terms production yes that's and, ogt and at life on life terms com. send them an email and in you know, november 6 ogt will be here we'll make this very interactive um do you think it's hard to do that well, well let me know because ahead, i'm sorry i i don't feel it's hard mm -hmm. you understand there are a lot of veterans with issues a lot of veterans that that can use support not only mental and physical support mm -hmm. but also support in wheelchairs mm -hmm. canes certain things walkers mm -hmm. like i've seen veterans out there with wheelchairs that are that are being held up by hangers mm -hmm. why is a veteran having to go to these crises mm -hmm. when he serve our country mm -hmm. us as civilians okay and and veterans and and prime military personnel should acknowledge this mm -hmm. and and we could put support groups out there mm -hmm. and try to make collections sure. for these better for these veterans because mm -hmm. not every um organization or institution is able to help every veteran out there yes sir so if we play yes, our sir. part Thank we you. can we can all set up a table mm -hmm. and 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 you know take in charities for these veterans yes, to, sir. Great to idea. furnish them with Great wheelchairs idea. Great idea. and furnish them with walkers or whatever the case may be that they need yes. to make them feel not only as a person but that their country is also looking out for them sure. and we need you the civilian support mm. so when you walk by a veteran don't look at him don't judge him if you feel that he's on drugs or anything yes, sir. if he requests a quarter or he's asking for a quarter you have it give it to him sure do not judge a veteran for what you see from the outside. Now, OGT... Just like, don't judge a book by its cover. Of course. Of course. Agreed. Now, OGT, you mentioned 203rd. Can you give some shout-outs to people? To, it wouldn't be 
I feel it wouldn't be fair to do this and not you give a few shout outs to people. And, well, I, I want to yeah. shout out the whole community on 203rd. Yes, sir. And, yes, sir. and, and, Respect and to know that, that it's a community that's always been together, always have worked together. Okay, it has always been a family. And Look I, at the and, hairs on my and arm and as right soon as you mentioned 203rd. I, I, I would like to, um, can we have a second of silence? Yes, sir. For uh, uh, a few members of the community that have passed in the past couple of months. We have Angie, Angie and Beatrice, and we want to hold uh, a few seconds for them and may they rest in peace and we're with you. You're always on our minds and in our hearts. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, we thank you. Yes. And may they rest in peace. They they served a big purpose in the community. And she was on the other okay. shows. She, she yes. was yes, yeah, she was on the yes, Angie. yes. They Both were on, our, were on shows. our shows. Yes, they were. What what was your memory of them, if you don't mind? Everything, just you know, Beautiful. everything. They are family, you know. Mm -hmm. You 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 eat together, you party together, you hang out, you have a good time. Whatever anybody needs, you know, you can run to this I house. Feel like house. <laughs> it, I feel like crying. I feel like tearing. Yeah, you know, it, yeah. It, it, I don't want you to make a million memes it's a of me. But like, yeah, two or three is where it's at. You understand? I've been in that community like, well, a lot of a lot of years. Let's just keep it at that. But you know what, Pete? I also wanted to to put an acknowledgement out there yes, yes, of an sir. experience so I had much. going back to the uh, veterans and the and the service yes, and sir. the military. Yes, sir. You got me crying here after like tearing. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. No, it's fine. No, it no it sorry. And, yeah. and this is what life on life turns yes. in. Yes, we're yes. real. We're true. Now we're and down to we our last minute, like brother. So we got to give some shout outs. But so we want to shout everybody on two hundred third. Sure. And everyone around the world, the United States, anywhere.